So Totem Lands is a fun take on cosy crafting and building games with an Animal Crossing feel. And the focus here is crafting totems to help make money to be able to afford all the fancy ass decorations for your building projects. But to craft those totems you're going to need spirits, which means going hunting with your special ruffian begone stick. You'll see what I mean. So all good crafting games start with hitting trays with an axe. Here we go. Here we bloody go, lads. And this is basically my um, building area. And this is my house. It's not very much of a house at the moment. It's, there's a bed in it and that's about it. Uh, but this is the garden where I'm, I'm going to be able to erect my totems, which will produce resources and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, first I will need to actually hit everything, gather everything, and all the usual things. Right, so I've got enough stuff now to craft my first totem base, which I shall stick there and then bung there. Uh, we haven't got the ability to make a totem yet because we haven't got any of our spirits that we need to go hunting for. We, um, we'll definitely go for a dotted spirit one because that's nice and easy. Uh, we've got, we need a bit of wood and, yeah, we just need a bit of regular wood. And uh, the regular wood is the lighter colour trees. So let's just start hitting that and then we'll go hunting. Oh, we've got a blueprint, um, which we can't really use at the moment, I don't think. I think you need a scanner for that. But here's the crossroads and I'm, I'm going to get out my special weapon now um, by pressing Q. There we go, there's my stick. Uh, now I need to go hunting for you! Tonk you, tonk you, and get you. There we go, we found our first dotted spirit. These lads are very easy to get. All you have to do is hit them three times, and they're yours. But other spirits are a bit more wily. There's a slime spirit around here somewhere. Other spirits you have to go hunting a bit further afield. And here is that field. <laughs> They're actually not too difficult to find, these ones. But yeah, these are a bit, these are a bit more gooey, these ones. They will, they will actually slide around all over the shop. But I just need a few. You generally, you generally need quite a few um, to actually do the actual crafting part of this. So I am going to hit quite a few before we continue. Oh, there's a wily one. Get you. Ha! Get you. And finally, get you. Uh, boop. There we go. Ooh, there's some ooze. Let's get the ooze. Let's find the secret of the ooze. There we go. Um, so I'm going to craft my first totem thing right now, in fact. Um, a dotted totem piece requires four dotted spirits and a bunch of wood. So we have that. And we can also make a goo totem. We need a bit more quartz. We've got everything else. We've got the ooze and we've got the goo spirits, which we've just been collecting. So we need ten quartz. And I think there's a bunch of that back at base. So I can start tonking this. I can switch back to my axe and then... Kill it. Kill the bits of quartz. So I've got my ten quartz. So I can make my goo totem piece. And uh, one final thing we need to do is make... Well, no, actually we've got the totem base, haven't we? So we can actually place the things on there now. Bonk and bonk. Nice. That looks very snazzy indeed. Now I can talk to it. And it wants two oozers. Have we actually got any oozers left? Oh, we, have, we already have two left over. So we can give that to you. Uh, you're going to be happy now. I think. Hang on. No, actually, I need to put these into my hands. Okay, so let's place that there. And it, yeah, there we go. And now it's having a bit of a think. And then tomorrow morning, it's now like 7 pm nearly, um, we are going to get a resource that we can sell at the docks. Um, so because um, I want to get to that bit, let's just quickly nip into here. Bit of a work in progress, this house. <laughs> day one finishes. Day two begins. Seven o'clock in the morning. Day game saved. Right. Get out of here. Right, so now he has produced. And we have a goo relic. We have created a relic. Let's go and sell that. A new location, Creaking Port. Right, shop! Right, so we can sell our goo relic. 54 golden acorns we're going to get from this. Now, because we've sold him a, um, a goo relic, and the price for this is probably going to go down tomorrow. So if you keep on selling them the same things, well, the economy gets buggered, frankly. I <laughs> uh, don't think we can do anything here at the moment. And this guy over here is a bronze computer with land expansion and house expansion stuff. Very expensive though, not something that we need to worry about at the moment. It would actually increase our totem limit because we can build up to five at the moment as it says in the top left. And we've already built one of them. So there are quite a few locations in this. And I think one of the most important ones possibly <laughs> is... We've got loads of these now have spawned again. Uh, is the place where you can... I'm going to switch, switch to my hunting. It's the place where you can actually um, store things. And because uh, so far I haven't actually seen a chest in the game that you can craft or whatever. But if you go over here to Watershine Gorge and go into the big gob, big tree gob, uh, there's actually a big drum where you can place stuff that you might not necessarily want in your inventory. I don't really want any of that at the moment. And the blueprint can be scanned with the blueprint scanner to unlock new decorative crafting recipes. 
I don't know where the scanner is. I think, I'm not sure if you actually have to make that or what. But there's a guy in here. Oh, hip! <laughs> I found the answer already, lads. Um, it's cost 250 acorns, and we've only got 54. But there are other things as well, like a vault facility. Presumably, we'll be able to build that in our house. So that would be the chest, I guess. Oh, deeper pockets! It's another Isaac thing. <laughs> the shush. Uh, there's some furniture you can buy there as well, but again, it all costs acorns. So we do need to go... We, we basically need to make more totems, uh, which... I mean, we can keep on just, like, um, making goo, goo bits of totem, but there's a variety thing that insists you actually do to actually get the most money and stuff like that. So the more different sorts of things that you make in a totem pole, the better. If you go over here, a new place. The Dusky Woods. Uh, with loads more, like, flowers you can get. It's a bit more quartz. There's also a new kind of spirit, the scaredy kind of owl things. I'm going to tonk it before it runs away. But look, these, these, like, these, these are very wily. These like to run like the bloody clappers and make a right old honking noise and all. But, get you. So when you're actually hunting these things, what you need to do is aim towards getting a certain number. So we actually need one more feathered spirit, as they're called, and then we'll be able to craft a feathered thing in me, Bob. So, one more of these, and we're good. Oh, hello. Have we been there before? Now, there's a few things that um, you do need to actually... Cr um, that process, like, you, you can turn wood into, like, wooden planks. But that's a whole thing. It's not as stri much straightforward as you might imagine. Um, in there, by the way. Cave! And burning caves. The, the new kinds of um, spirits, if you go deep enough into these caves, but I haven't really investigated that just yet. But actually, let's do that now. Why not? I'm in the middle of a video. That would be fun. So I'm going to go east. I think... Oh, there, there we go. There's a stone spirit. And we're going to need a couple of these, I think. Are these a bit... Ooh! Ow, lads! They, the, 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 these are even wilier. These actually hurt. Got to be very careful. I'll just get a few whilst I'm here. Hopefully, they won't kill me. I, ha I do have a health bar in the top left, uh, but it is actually regening a little bit, so we're not going to like suddenly die. I don't think. But a few more of them, and I think we're good. Let's see what these little tip mounds are. Oh, that's lots of quartz. Okay. And um, that's definitely worth coming here to get, then. So unfortunately, we're not able... Oh, the, I, could, I could get the Feathered Spirit, but I'm not going to bother. Um, we're not really able to craft many different sorts of uh, totem pieces yet, because we do need to process our resources first. Like, if you look at the, the Feathered one, we need planks. Uh, and for that, we'll need Biobots. Uh, look, here's a saw bot, which will turn and wooden planks... Oh, wood and hardwood into wooden planks and hardwood planks, requiring goo spirit and iron ore and a bit of hardwood as well. And there's also stuff for steel sheets, bricks, and turn flower blossoms into dye. Consumes one energy orb per action. What the hell is an energy orb? Make sure that I fill up an ooze. Because I think our totem will demand that for tomorrow's relic. I could do with building a different totem, though, as well, but... So you want your goo, so let's quickly... Three... There we go. So again, we'll get the same ooze relic for tomorrow. Where are you again? Hang on, let's bring that up. Oh, it's the goo... That's the goo spirit. Okay, right, that's fine. So my definite... For my next action, um, I definitely want to make a saw bot. And by the way, there's a this whole sort of, um, load of decorations you can make here, but probably won't be doing much of that at the moment. Um, so yes, we do need to make a biobot, so we just need to chop down some hardwood trees. Make sure that I am going for the hardwood, which is the darker trees. So I mentioned Animal Crossing earlier, but I think um, uh, obviously Stardew Valley is another <laughs> obvious reference point here. Um, I should now be able to craft my thing. My biobot. Right, let's see how this works. Never done this before. And change it to... You... Put it there. And then we actually need some wood for it to cut. Um, we have a tiny bit of hardwood. Right, okay, so let's change that to there, place down there. Oh, we, oh, we need energy orbs. I knew it, it did say that we we're going to need those, but I don't actually know how to craft those yet. Let's have a bit of a play around. Let's see if we can actually find... Oh, combinator. Combine multiple resources to form a new resource. Energy collector automatically produces energy orbs over time. Oh, we can make this then. Um, we do need these, don't we? So, iron ore and quartz. All things from the mine, I guess. Although, having said that, there is a certain amount of it here. So we may be able to get away with just gathering all this stuff. And we do need to get some more from elsewhere. It's getting dark. At night, you get star spirits popping out. Uh, which are a bit difficult to hunt, because they do like to vanish. 
Oh, it is now officially after 9 p.m. So we may actually get some star spirits spawning. Now this place, by the way, is seedling stand. Now the star spirits are not feeling very exposing themselves -y at the moment. Never mind about that. Uh, let's see if we can actually make this thing now. Energy collector. Let's place that there. Boop, boop, boop. Don't know where this is going to go. We're going to run out of room very quickly here, aren't we? That's why we need all the expansions. So I'm guessing that's just going to... Oh my god. That's a very small number. Oh, he said 4%. It changed to 4%. Right, so this is ongoing. This is um, going to produce something in the, on the morrow. So let's be getting to bed. Now it is getting quite late. Right, god done right. It's a beautiful day. Grab you. And also... Energy orb, just the one, I think, possibly? Yeah. So, if we are going to sort this out, if we can just get this... Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. <gasps> I shocked it! <laughs> right, okay, so now that's another um, thing that's going to take a long time. Right, in the meantime, we can be going to do other stuff, then. In other words, sell the relic and see what the prices are today. I fear the prices. Oh, no, the prices have gone up! Maybe it's random rather than just demand. Ooh. Right. That's useful to know. We've got 118 um, gold and acorn quid at uh, the moment. Um, yeah, nice. All right. Well, fine. Um, but also, also some more of this. Some more quartz so we don't have to go back down the bloody mines. So I'm guessing you, you want your ooze again, don't you? So may as well. We'll, we'll keep on going with you for the time being since I don't think we can really do much um, else. We could start a new. We could actually start a new totem and have the um, the dotted spirit on it because it's only the only the top thing um, is what um, determines what the relic is going to be. So this is why it's always going to be a news relic coming from this totem. And let's put another thing on top of it. But it might be nice to actually have um, a, a bit of a variety happening. And um, to actually make that, we d would need another bunch of wood, hardwood, and stone. And we're starting to run out of trees. Meanwhile, oh hello, you've nearly done. Oh, you're happy now. Apparently. Grab you. So one, one, hardwood plank. I keep on getting, unfortunately there are two different screens. If you press tab you get that, and escape you get that. And hence why I keep on pressing the wrong thing the whole bloody time. But we can make another, we can actually make another one of these. Um, we have got everything we need, but um, possibly not for the time being. Let's have a see what else could be do. Oh, we, to make a smelter. Uh, iron ore into steel sheets. We do, we do need some of those star spirits, but I didn't see any last night, so whatever. Um, so I think the blade bot is probably what we need to do next, which requires iron ore and stone. And then we can make bricks. We're still at the stage where I need to keep on um, emptying my inventory from time to time. Ugh. Get rid of that. Probably don't need the goo spirits at the moment. I'll keep, I'll keep most of my stone spirits, though, because we will be needing those very soon. I need a bit more iron ore now, and then we, we should be able to make our thing. Right, let's get chopping. Well, that's, that's quartz, but <laughs> there's some iron ore around here somewhere as well. So you can see this is a game where you do have to build stuff up over time and then let things happen. And then, like for instance, with the energy collector, I definitely want more than one of these, because it's so expensive, um, this energy orb. Oh, he's just, he's just finished. Nice. Um, I've got no more. I think I've got one more energy orb. Oh no, I don't even have that. So I can't really do much with him in the moment. But what I can do is make myself a new biobot, and um, which will also require the bloody energy orbs as well. Right, put you there. So yeah. Oh god, you look really scary. <laughs> Ugh. But I so said we can't do anything with you at the moment. Well, slightly unfortunately, I've been um, making the wrong sort of planks. I should have made, the second one I made should be um, should have been a, a regular wooden plank. And then we can, then we'll be able to make a feathered spirit, which would be nice. But we do need another energy orb, which is oh! <laughs> just about to come online right now, which is rather handy. I'll grab you. And we also need, no that's, that's actually hard wood, so we need, we need some regular wood. And then we'll be able to get our way to success. Come on, give us that. There we go. So you, and um, we need to actually place the the right sort of word in my hands, which is that. Right, off you go. So that's use my energy orb. And we just need another... To actually get this feathered totem piece, we need um, five white blossoms as well, which I'm just going to gather now. It looks like um, we need one more from elsewhere. We might be able to get it from here. A little bush. Yes, there we go. 
So I think we've actually got everything other than the wooden plank, so we just have to wait for that to finish and we'll all be good. I think I'll actually place it on top of... Well, maybe I should... Mm, nah, we'll place it on top of this. And we'll have a nice variety pole. There's actually quite a lot of complexity in, in, in all the, um, the back end of all this. As, for instance, if you build two totems uh, next to each other, um, they sometimes they prefer that. I, um, yeah, a totem belt indicated by that sort of stuff like that. And the preferences are indicated in the Oaklinger spirits bit. So the pref yeah, preferences would be here. So ideally, if we place the dotted thing and the green thing together, that should be improvement. And indeed, you can actually see the, the like the rainbow belt between the two. So we should be getting more out of this lad at the moment. Hey, who goes there? No one passes through Spirit Wall. That's me, by the way. I'm the Spirit Wall. This name isn't threatening enough. Maybe we should call it Spirit Wall the Almighty. Hmm. Here's a riddle for you. What are walls famous for? Staying where they are and not moving. What I mean is you can't pass through, not until I'm here at least. Now, luckily for you, I'm easy to bribe. I possess this shabby wooden wall to collect toll in the first place. I love these things called relics. I love the way they look. And if you bring me enough relics of any kind, I'll consider moving. Consider is the key word here. So yes, if I collect ten relics, I can get through there to probably like enter the final um, location that's in the current um, builds. Let me just get up this. And at the moment, there are only seven locations, and I suspect that one is the one that we haven't, we can't get to. But there's nothing as early access version 0.3, so there is more to come. I think the game is um, designed to be or due to be like taking about a year in early access. But anyway, let's finish off just by crafting our final thing, um, our final feathered totem piece. Um, I'm not sure if we can actually do it just yet, though, because um, that this guy is actually busy producing a relic for tomorrow, so we should probably instead make ourselves a new totem bottom and start a new one. Oh, look, there's, there's one of the star lads. Tonk, tonk, tonk. Unfortunately, my inventory is full, uh, which is a bit of an issue. This is, this is why I'm actually trying to leave at the moment. Oh, yeah, if, if you come out at night, they're all over the bloody place. But yes, they do vanish if you run at them too fast. But yeah, I'm, I'm just going to storage at the moment so I can finally get rid of some of the some of the gunk that I don't need for now. I don't know how long you can stay out in this game, so <laughs> this might be risking it a little bit. And this should be the last bit of stone. But apparently after midnight your health goes down, which is a sli slightly unfortunate thing. Um, but let's just very quickly bung in the... hang on... the new th stuff. There we go, what do you want? Oh, you want some sort of berries if you're going to produce a relic. Uh, I don't have those. <laughs> Quick, grab you, uh, and then before we die, <laughs> we better go to bed. There we go. All right, so that's your first few days of Totem Lands. Um, it's actually a lot better than I expected just from like the original screenshots. There's a lot to discover here, a lot of fun things to do. And I've also got some good relics now, so I can sell and make my Acorn Empire grow all the more. And you can see how this works. Uh, so thanks very much. Um, check me out on Buy Me A Coffee if you want to support the channel. Keep me going. Um, otherwise, maybe just subscribe to the channel. Um, I'll leave your things as well. Uh, all the links are in the description as per usual. Uh, bye for now.